guys, this is Skulk3, and welcome to part 61 of Let's Play Endless Ocean 2 Adventure 3, but that's right, I actually know the number this time. Um, so, the dolphin naming contest for the Beluga is over, but we're going to be going straight into another one, because I can't really think of anything else to do at this point. Um, so, I'm sure you're all wondering what the name's going to be while well, I've looked over them. Um, I've chosen my favourite. There were some kind of weird ones. Uh, someone suggested Swimmy. Which was quite cool. Uh, someone suggested bacon. I'm really not sure what to think about that. Does someone see a whale and immediately think, ooh, bacon? Um, but no, it's very simple and actually probably the most normal name we've yet we've had yet on this um, on a dolphin naming contest ever. I think um, it's Lily because it's white and has a flower pattern. Um, I will find who suggested it. Someone suggested Lily Water. Um, not sure if that even fit. But, yeah, Thanos 6, that's the one. Uh, the guy with a name like Thanatos. There's the whale again! Stop interrupting our moment, whale! <sighs> um, so yes, Lily. There was some other good ones. There was, uh, suggestions for things in Japanese, things, suggestions for things in, uh, Inuit again. Um, this one I could actually find, um, but it, um, I can't remember why I didn't choose it. I think it was that it just didn't sound particularly nice or something. Canalagak, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's like a nice word and everything, it's just, I don't, I think for a whale, it just doesn't sound like a very smooth sort of name. Canalagak! Um, I mean, I'm, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but that's because I don't speak Inuit. <laughs> Um, so that's a bit of a language barrier there, really. Um, so, once we've befriended the Beluga, we go and see Mr. Finley again. Actually, no, Mr. Finley comes and sees us again. Um, and this is a very interesting one to get, um, because it's actually pretty much the last one you're restricted with getting. Um, because up till now, we could only get them in the set order, you know, um, common dolphin, spectacle porpoise, common dolphin, not common dolphin, um, bottle nose dolphin, um, <coughs> sorry, the, I think, was it narwhal after that? Or was there something else? I can't remember. Anyways, um, but beyond this one, you pretty much get to choose which dolphin you go for next. Um, so that's pretty cool. Well, I may not like Finley, but you have to go, you have got more animal partners thanks to him. Seriously, do you think that Finley is... What is it with him turning up when I talk about him? Is he watching us? I think he might be. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. He seems the sort of suspicious spying type. Hi, Finley. He probably has a camera under that bandana thing. So, you've offended not just the narwhal, but the beluga too. Impressive. Maybe they can do this after all. I had my reasons wanting to test your affinity with whales and dolphins. I was searching the globe to find someone who truly understands animals. There were others who came close, but there was always something missing. You're the real thing, though. And that's why I want to ask you for your help with something. I want to ask for your help with something. Fair enough. What is it, good sir? What is to look for a false killer whale that should be in Valka Castle? A false killer whale with a scar on its forehead was spotted in Valka Castle. I don't get why we needed to sort of skip past that because he explains about the killer whale, the false killer whale here. Um, so all he would have said in that is, "I want you to go to Valka Castle and find a false killer whale." So why they needed to close that out, bring it back in, and have Osean say it, I don't know. Let's just say it's special to me. I want to protect it. All right, I don't like you, but all your leads have been good so far. Wow, harsh. R and R diving service will take the job, you asshole. Get ready to sail. Seriously, she's like, I don't like you, but I'll do it for the whales and dolphins. Thank you. A false killer whale should still be in Valka Castle. Haha, <laughs> I knew from the beginning that Potario was the real thing. Ooh, I think he just dissed Oceane slightly because he said she wasn't the real thing or something. Or he didn't say that she wasn't. He just didn't say that she was. I don't know. This is how things work in my brain. Um, so I know what a lot of you who are, haven't already done this are thinking. Wait a minute, false killer whale? Vulcan castle? Oh, I know, that's the one in the ballroom, right? <laughs> WRONG! 
Ah, uh, SpongeBob references. No, in fact, it is another full skiller whale in, um, what is my jig? In Valka Castle. Uh, one which is. One which, if you don't know where it is, uh, you'll swim past it, generally. You can actually see it um, earlier than the ballroom, but you might miss it, because, you know, you don't think it's going to be where it is. Um, so I shall soon, soon show you where it is. Um, yes. Also, one thing I noticed, one thing I noticed about the false killer whale is that we get as a friend or a partner, is that it's a lot smaller than the, um, than the other one. And I thought that was only the case for the false killer whale and maybe the orca, because you know they're big. But I think it might actually be for like most of them. Like, I'm pretty sure that beluga we just got was smaller. Don't know about the others, but I suppose it would make sense, because you know. Although I suppose if the beluga is kind of like more of a whale than a dolphin sort of thing, then... I mean, I would say it's more of a dolphin than a whale, but... You never know how people are in this crazy, crazy world. Um, so... We are going down the well to Valka Castle. Just thought I'd tell you. I don't even know what that accent is, so I'm not going to continue it. How many times have I said... Oh, by the way, I just said Inuit without noticing. Yeah. Anyways, uh, how many times am I going to use an accent and then don't know where it's from? <laughs> um, I think a fair number of times. Sorry if you keep hearing my nose, but it seems to be a bit blocked up today. And I don't know why. Probably the British summer we have, which is pretty much indistinguishable from winter. Especially up here in North. Aye. It's especially cold and dreary. Damn you, weather! I accept not because I actually prefer being cold to being hot. Don't know why, I just, I just really don't like being hot. I just really feel uncomfortable. Being cold, I don't like feel necessarily comfortable, but, you know, you can do something about it. You can huddle up in thick coats and covers and stuff, and you'll be warmer, but, you know. Uh, so. False killer whale is actually up in this tower. You might be yes, maybe. I think you can see it from here. You see it there. So Yeah, there it is. Just swimming among the hammerheads. There he is. Can you hear me? It's Gene Eric. It seems a false killer whale has found its way in here. Do you see that? It has something that looks like a scar on its head. No shit, Sherlock. It's not like we were looking for it or anything. Several years ago, Scissoros fishermen drove off a false killer whale that was ha causing havoc in their fishing grounds. And this could be that whale, and if so, he's, mostly like he's most likely afraid of humans, or people, whatever. It's pretty much the same thing, I don't know why I needed to, decided to, I needed to clarify. Oh, he's disappearing. As I thought, he's afraid of you. There he goes. He's headed for the collapsed gallery to the east. I think that you might be able to befriend even this false killer whale if it's become afraid of humans. Go after him and see what you can do. You know, I think Jill might be right. Hatario is the manly Disney princess. I mean, seriously, he can just befriend animals whenever he wants. It's just craziness. Anyways, um... So... Here's the false killer whale again. You have to keep finding it. I think you need to find it four or five times. He's terrified. He must have suffered terribly. He tried to show him you meant no harm, but he fled north. Now, fortunately, I have already done this. Um, what I was planning to do, I was planning to record like all the dolphin things and do something with it, uh, which I still might do, so I won't tell you what I'm doing. It's not very interesting, though. Um, and, yeah. Sorry. Um, and so basically I know where he disappears to every time, so that saves time on having to go, Gee, I wonder where he's gone. Derp -a -derp -a -derp. Of course, I still can do that, I just probably won't for the sake of saving time now. Chances are this is going to have to go into another video, so I was wrong when I said at the start that it was 61. I should have said it was 61A. Uh, so, the false killer whale is now in this room. There he is. His movements seem awkward. Now, that's not very nice to say. But even further north. Further north! So, just... Yeah, think that through while you're smoking your pipe. I've just realized that even though I was prepared, even though I've already done this, I've just forgotten where he goes next. Which is not a very good idea. I think he's gone into the treasure room. Um, so, you know, that's where we'll be heading next. Just 
over these uh, porcupine, no, not porcupine fish. Um, lunar lionfish, I think, are they? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they are, yeah. Yeah. So, treasure vault. Hey, there he is. Perhaps he has some kind of injury from colliding with something in the castle. He tried to show him he meant no harm, but he fled east. East! But that's where... Oh no! I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm going to end this part and join you back here. I might go up and save, because otherwise I'm going to lose a lot of progress. So, um, I will be back in a second, as far as you're concerned. Goodbye.